my YouTube friends back with another pair of low heat Jordans this time, as you know by the title. This was a mall pickup, the rare, rare Jordan 1 mall pickup. I was from finish line, as you see. I was tempted to do a little of videoing in the shop, uh, but you know, even though we live in 2021 where people are vlogging, YouTubing, Instagramming all the time, talking to their phone, camera, Twitch channel, what have you, I still feel a little awkward. Maybe it's just because I'm old or maybe because, you know, I don't know. It is weird. Let me know in the comments if like, yo, we want to see you at a store, do a, you know, see you copping in a store, see that video footage. Maybe if there's enough interest, I'll, I'll suck up looking like an idiot, um, a grown man talking to my phone for you people. That's what I would do for you people. Um, so yeah, let me know in the comments. Or, or if you're like, no, we don't need that. Uh, just do your unboxing video here in the quiet of your own uh, office. So today we have the Air Jordan 1 Retro High OG in Bordeaux, metallic silver and white in a size 12. And these retail for 170 So the story is, I'm in the mall the, uh, the other day doing some last minute uh, shopping for the holidays. Walk into Finish Line looking for some socks for the lady. And uh, in the glass case in the center, there's a pair of winterized 14s in brown and a pair of these Bordeaux. I'm like, what? I pick them up out of the case and walk immediately to the register. Like, And the, guy, the dude's like, yeah, bro, last pair. I'm like, really? He's like, yeah, I think they're a return. I was like, oh my God, I look at my, my size. All right, let's do the unboxing because I know you're all waiting for that. And then I'll get back into the story. Let's look at them first. Sheesh. So obviously I, ha I did see these before. This isn't my first look at them in hand, but I didn't really examine them uh, until the unboxing here. So let's take a look. Let's take a look. These are pretty clean, not gonna lie. Uh, I didn't go after these. I didn't try for these, uh, both because I didn't love, love them. I liked them. I didn't love them. And uh, I knew resell on these wasn't going to be a ton. And um, I was right. Uh, but that being said, if they're, just, if they're just sitting out, like the world's giving them to me, essentially, then sure. Uh, this is not a bad shoe. I like it. This can go with a ton of stuff. So I did cop. Mm. Okay, back to the story. Now that we've had a chance to drink these in. These aren't, these are not bad. These are not bad at all. Uh, so I go up to the register. The dude's like, yeah, last pair. Um, I'm like, really? And he's like, yeah, I think they're a return. I'm like, oh, really? Huh, interesting. I'm like, are these not selling for much? He's like, I don't know, probably. You know, obviously, he's, he's just trying to do his job. He's getting paid minimum wage. Um, he wasn't into too much chit chat. Uh, and he's like, you want them? I'm like, uh, yeah. I was like, let me check the StockX price really quick. Make sure that I wasn't like buying these for retail when they're under retail. And I went to StockX and they're going for like a little over 200 in this size. So um, nothing crazy. Uh, you know, even if, even if someone sold them at that point, I don't even know if they're making their money. So with tax and everything, it came out to um, like 186 or something like that. Uh, 180 something. So yeah, I live in California. It's expensive. Uh, tax is expensive. Uh, so I decided to pull the trigger and cop these uh, despite the resale price not being much. I just thought I would review them for you guys quick. I know this video probably won't get a ton of views because this has been these have been out for a minute, but that's okay. Wanted to pick them up, wanted to see them in hand, and uh, who knows, maybe I'll keep them. So uh, clearly these were tried on. So I'm guessing what happened is someone copped these, uh, present, whatever, got them. Um, want them and then they just weren't selling for a ton they laced them up and like huh do i want to keep them and they're like nah and they're like i don't even want to go through the the process of selling them probably someone older who doesn't want to do a ton of stock x stuff uh or sell them at a place so yeah these came out this summer this is july there or at least that's when they're manufactured i don't know these came out somewhat recently and there was also the light remember the light blue uh, colorway. I, think, I don't know if that was suede here though, but they also had the metallic silver swoosh. So this is all leather, uh, no, no suede here. And this, so I screwed up in my dunk low video, um, 
um, SP Dunk Low video, The Fogs, and I thought the swoosh was 3M. It was not. That was my bad. I corrected it in the description, comments, title, everything. So, I am an idiot. These are not 3M, to my knowledge. These are just metallic silver, so um, apologize for that video. Uh, anyways, I think the part about these that doesn't leap out to me, or like why I don't um, love them, to me, these look a little bit more like a women's Jordan with the metallic silver and the matching silver wings logo. They just look a little bit more finish line, you know, Jordan mid to me. I, I like the Bordeaux color. I like the Bordeaux color, but that that's for me just why these don't leap out at me. I will say though, shout out to finish line. I remember and this is a reason you should check your local malls. Not, not that they're like a small uh, mom and pop store or independent store. They're owned by JD Sports. They're a huge, huge company. They, they sell out of all their Jordans all the time. So it's not like they, you need to support Finish Line. I'm not saying that. But you can find come-ups, I guess, still occasionally. I remember back a couple years back, I went into the same Finish Line and they had the Black Cat 4s on sale. On sale. And I looked at them like, uh, my size, I'm like, uh, I don't uh, I don't need, I'm not a big black shoe guy. I don't need these. I was tempted. And then like a year later, um, the freaking uh, Netflix series on Jordan comes out. Joe LaPuma says they're his favorite shoe ever on a couple videos. And the, now those things are going for $500 and they were on sale. I also remember at Finish Line back a couple years ago when Jordan 1s weren't I mean, they're popular, but weren't so popular. The Turbo Greens, I remember hitting on those and returning them to Finish Line because they were on sale at Finish Line. So I returned them and then rebought them on sale to make sure I got the discount. Uh, I remember that. My pair of Turbo Greens bought on sale from Finish Line. Returned a pair and bought new. That's crazy. I should have just kept both pairs. Should have bought them all out. Uh, it's how times have changed in just a short amount of time. So... Yeah, you know, you can still find come-ups occasionally on returns. Let's see. I think, you know what these would be dope for? Where you'd wear these? I think you'd... You would... Wine tasting. Now, hear me out. Before all the comments come in, if you're still watching somehow, and, like, uh, you're corny, bro. A lot of athletes drink wine. LeBron, a lot of football players drink wine. It's not bad for you, and you know, that's better than the calories in beer. Or uh, sugary cocktails, uh, you know, it's got tannins in it, uh, antioxidants. A lot of athletes are into wine. So uh, I do think these would be a dope pair of shoe, uh, pair of sneakers to wear, you know. You get your, you get your wine tasting on, uh, wherever you're at. Wear these to the party or wear these to the winery, the Bordeaux's. Uh, this is the perfect wine tasting sneaker. All right, okay. If you're still listening and you want to you know, say that's corny, uh, go ahead and comment. Uh, you're corny, bro. I hope you don't mean it, though. Maybe maybe, maybe do the uh, crying laughing emoji to let me know that you're not like actually serious. You're just uh, trolling me a little bit. But that's where I'd wear these two. Now, as far as a rating goes, hmm. Well, first of all, let me know. Let me know do you guys like these? Do you guys mess with these? Do you guys try for these? Do you have them? Uh, if you do want them, they're reasonable. They're not going crazy, just a little bit above retail. So you can cop them at, a, at an okay price. Um, I think I'm going to give these a six. They are Jordan 1 sil silhouette, and I do love Jordan 1s. I do like the maroon color. Um, I do like this color blocking. It's something just about maybe this shade of Bordeaux and the silver the silver hits on it. Maybe that's it. Maybe that's it. I like the Bordeaux laces. I don't know about the white ones. Good backup option though. I think I'm going to give these a 6.75. Not my favorite Jordan 1. Love Jordan 1's, not my favorite, but pretty good. And, you know, bonus points for coming up on these on retail uh, just randomly at finish line. That's a wild mall come up. Let me know in the, uh, you know, more comment talk, more comment plugs. Uh, besides subscribing, please subscribe. Uh, let me know in the comments what, if you've got any uh, mall come ups, retail come ups lately. 
at finish line. In this day and age of everything selling out, I want to hear if anyone's uh, come across some retail pickups that uh, that have surprised them or been, um, you know, you've been fortunate enough to get. I forgot um, I forgot the most important part, the try-on. Uh, sorry about that. I was wondering why the video was so short. I was like, oh, damn it. I forgot to try these on for you guys. So I'll try these on quick. Let me know if you're still watching by uh, commenting what your favorite wine is in the comments. I'm kind of um, a Cabernet dude. And I like, um, for whites, I like Chardonnay. Um, there's, a, there's, a, there's, a, there's a bunch of red wines that I like. But uh, definitely, definitely, definitely a Cabernet guy. I like a Merlot too. Um, but let's try these on really quick. See what these look like. I got on my Union Jordan 4s. Check out that unboxing video if you want. I'll link it above. Let's see how these look on foot. Jordan 1s always look good on foot. So, you know, there's nothing to really worry. But, yeah. As you know with Jordan 1s, go true to size. You can go half size up if you want, but they'll be roomier. Uh, you can also go half size down if you like a snugger fit. They're pretty reasonable. Uh, to me, they're the most com they're one of the most comfortable sneakers to have your foot in. Maybe not to walk around all day, but just uh, they're a great uh, movie shoe, great um, train, car, airplane uh, shoe, in my opinion, for just sitting in. So this is what they look like. Uh, yeah, they look pretty dope on foot. Can't lie. Uh, let's see, laced up. How do you guys lace your Jordans? You go uh, to that one, one lower. No one goes all the way up. That's got to be a monster to do that. But uh, or do you go super loose? Do you even lace, or do you do the whole let the let the little things flop around like this? Um, I tend to tie mine, except on my off-white Jordan ones. Then I have the uh, them flopping, so you can see the shoelace uh, text there. So yeah, there you go. Sorry, I forgot forgot to try these on, but I remembered in the end. So there you go. We got there. We got there. Thanks for watching. Subscribe.